I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Liar! I think we could use... You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Um, how about the fucking magazine coupon? How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. <laughs> okay. The list of odds recovered. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Hmm. Why? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Actually, how would she know? Find a hammer's locker, movie ticket. Would it be the bootmarkers payouts would you use? Let's go for that. You know, this is probably gonna be wrong, but fuck it. Albert wrote what? things down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. Oh, he's a smart boy, isn't he? Plans to leave town. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Do I say lie or I'm gonna use my one of my points? Doubt. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Um, adios? You want to press charges against our Carol? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo. You <laughs> hump. <laughs> and get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Yes. Is he just, did he just turn to Batman there? I hope things work out for you. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say so. She's lying. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. You smell payoff. I smell bullshit. Two completely different things. But yeah, let's follow her. I believe we are going to follow her. Yeah. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Alrighty then. So I'm going to be, um... Oh, I am going to be Batman in a moment. <laughs> is this a little, uh, you walk, is this a little walk past and you shout, I'M BATMAN! <laughs> of course that would get me caught. Now, how do we take cover again? Is it R1? L1? I wonder. God, you need to change suits, Cole. That tie of yours fucking sucks. Let's be honest. Let's do a quick test. Yep, R1. Ooh, she stopped there, there I go. You can't see me! Let's 
see what she does. Okay, she's not doing anything at the moment. Hey, one of those shoe polishing chairs. Which don't exist anymore. Sad me. <laughs> don't know why. I never experienced any of them. And no, you still don't get the you don't get them in Britain. We're not that old fashioned for God's sake. Far, but I'm not losing her. Hope I'm not losing her. Now I'll keep watching my PVR to see if it's not crashed or not. How can I just not walk faster? Come on. I'm <laughs> I'm not a tall guy, but I can walk faster than fucking Cole here. Probably got longer legs actually. How can I be shot and have longer legs? Oh, it doesn't matter. I think I'm pretty average on my size. I think. Is that a sprinkler? Yeah, it is. It looks like a meat grinding machine. Please don't turn around. Is she gonna cross the road there? Oh, she is. Now wait for her to go because I wait for her to walk to go by and I run towards her. Okay. What? I fucking covered there. That's bollocks. Bullshit. Bullshit. Now where do I start? Did you just see that? I ran up and I hid. Oh, you are fucking joking me. That's just bollocks. It really is. I'm calling bullshit on that. I know I ran, but come on, I hid straight in there. That was perfect. Nice Mohican you got there. That guy's avoiding me. I'm suspicious of him. Any moment now is gonna ring and we're gonna have a singing in the ring moment. I'm singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. No, chocolate rain. That's what we need. Chocolate rain. Come on, do your stuff. That's it. Head here for a minute. Don't think she is gonna turn. You better not fucking turn, you whore. Or oh, I'd be very annoyed. She keeps looking behind me. Yes, I am following you. Shit, there's no cover! Now, where are you going, Mrs. Lancelot? You need a shop! I'm doing an important investigation. Now, where is this? Where are you taking me? I didn't want to get too close, just in case she... Shit. <laughs> oh! What the hell was that all about? You can't see me! I am the invisible invisible man! Oh gosh, this remember a horrible movie about the invisible man. I fucking hate that movie. Especially a sequel makes no sense. Why did it have to need a sequel? 
Where are you going? Come on. Okay, this. Oh. Now, where exactly are you going? Are you meeting up with Hammond? Are you not? Is this all bullshit? Oh! Liquor? She's not going to tell a liquor store, is she? I think she is! Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Ah, oh, it's the bookmaker's office. Far as they're going to the liquor store. Hmm. Probably read the wrong sign there. Previously, the liquor. This? What? Ah, oh, I don't fucking care anymore. Did you read about the woman who A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Okay. The notepad. Let's grab the notepad quickly. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. <laughs> Yep, let's quickly do this. We know where she's headed, let's get moving. Cool! Let's get there. We don't need to follow her anymore, we got her- we got the address of some place. Yeah, let's just walk there casually. Why are you still got your roof up? It's sunny outside! Come on! Can you drive to this one? Alright, where to? You can drive me there, slave! And get on to it! And pour me a drink and tonic. Sorry. A gin and tonic. Drifty liquor, 6106 Santa Monica. The Examiner Drugstore and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL clear. Oh, okay. We've got more places to go. Well, we'll go after this address first, then we go after the other one. Brown Jabbery. Dip. All right, let's go in and burst this bitch. Uh, wait Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Over by the phone? Is this it? It's not a phone, it's a fucking radio. Yellow cap. We need to get after her fast. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Hurry up. Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, 